so today I'm going to be doing the haul of the stuff that I got in my last yard sale footage video. So just a little overview story of where this stuff came from. Uh, I actually went to, um, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know I go to this one lady sale pretty frequently. Uh, she has it in her garage and her brother, I'm pretty sure it's her brother, um, maybe it's a son, I, I, I don't know for sure. <laughs> Anyway, they own the auction house that I go to, that Eric and I go to. And she normally has yard sales pretty often. Um, and a lot of her inventory comes from the auction of stuff that, you know, nobody wanted, didn't bid on, that kind of thing. Um, but her brother or son lives down the street and he decided to have a sale as well. So he's the one who um, helps do the auctions and um, does like the estate closeouts and things of that nature. So this was the first I think he has ever had a yard sale. I did overhear him saying that um, they're thinking about doing it a couple of times a year if possible. So that's awesome. I went 20 minutes early because I knew I'd probably have a hard time finding a place to park and there were people already there shopping. So I guess I wasn't 20 minutes early, I was 20 minutes late. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I got um, both there and at the ladies house and then the other stuff is just kind of like from random yard sales where I don't think I filmed any other random yard sales. I might have filmed one um, but I'm just gonna go over, over everything that I got um, and we'll just talk about it. As I pull, I don't have anything organized. I am like I'm not a very organized person. So as I pull stuff out, I'll kind of like let you know, um, you know, what I paid for it and maybe like where it came from kind of thing. Um, so yeah, let's just hop on in, shall we? I'm just gonna go with this first because it's right on top. Uh, I got this straw purse for a dollar at his sale. Um, it just has these grapes on. There's like these little funky bits right here, but I think they're just like little shards of paper really that'll peel off. That's so gross. It looks like sunburned skin. Um, I mean, I like pulling off sunburned skin, but maybe not on a, a tote bag. However, that does come off. So the little discolored ones here should look like the regular orange ones after I get the um, skin picked off. So this was a dollar. It's just, it looks older by the tag, but the tag just says made in China. But these big straw totes, straw purses, in general, sometimes do really well. So I just grabbed it for a dollar and I used it as an extra bag. I went with my own bag. Hallelujah! I didn't forget my bag this time, but I was really filling up on stuff and a lot of like breakable things, so I wanted to separate them. Um, so anyway, also at his sale, let me just sit this down here so the handles aren't all up in the business. I got this mug here for a dollar. The prices at his sale were amazing. I mean, he had uh, some higher prices on some of the more like uh, older things and stuff like that. But for the most part, the stuff that I was interested in was in the price range I like to pay. So this mug, I mean, look at that handle. This is the coolest design ever. I mean, hello. I absolutely love that. How could I pass this up for a dollar? I couldn't. It was just too unique. So I got that. It is signed on the bottom. No idea what it says. I always have such a hard time reading these types of signatures on the bottom of pieces, but for a dollar, where else are you going to find a mug so cool like that than at a yard sale? Also, at his sale, I got this jewelry box. This is um, specifically for earrings. So when you open it up, it has this silky bit here with um, little, they kind of look like snowflakes, and then this red velvet part for earrings. And it's just a hinged box. Um, definitely older. I feel like it doesn't, I mean, it's closed, but it, I don't know, I feel like it doesn't like shut completely. 
Maybe that's how they're made. I don't know. Uh, but I could definitely tell it's older. I don't know, like, the age of this. Maybe the... Maybe the 80s, I'm not sure, uh, but it was 50 cents and it looks to be in really nice condition aside from the fact that I don't know if it's supposed to not close completely. Um, I obsess over the dumbest stuff sometimes. Alright, onwards. Um, I always feel like one of the youngest uh, people when I'm at yard sales sometimes. Um, but it didn't really look like most people were interested in the clothing or shoes. I did take a peek at the clothes um, after I was done looking at everything else. And I found this older Washington Redskins sweatshirt. And this was made by Lee. So as you know, they are changing the name of the Washington Redskins. So, and I thought since this is older, um, you know, I could probably get at least 20 for that, possibly more. So while that's a hot topic right now in the news, I wanna try and get that listed after I throw it in the wash machine. I got this piece from the older ladies yard sale and I can't remember, I feel like I had seen this at the auction or like I always look at the pictures of the auction but I don't always go and I feel like I might have seen this in a picture um, so someone must not have actually bid on it, but it's just this wooden carved piece You can see there. There's no markings on it that I can see um, So I don't really know age or who it's made by but Just definitely really cool and unique and that was three dollars. So I picked that up. I got an Etienne bag. You guys know I love picking these up and this one is big. It's almost like a, almost like a briefcase really. It's pretty huge and it was $2. So I nabbed that. It's in beautiful condition, like barely used. I think it is like a briefcase because down there, I don't know if you can see, there's like little card slots. Then you got this big zippered part. You could probably put like a laptop or a tablet kind of thing. Yeah, it's in really nice condition. So that bag for $2. I got this little trinket jar. It's on these three legs. It has a floral print on it. It was $1. So I thought that was really pretty. There's like a floral print there on the side. So it opens like that. And I recognize the mark on the bottom of this. I'm kind of starting to learn marks on pieces. But those little arrows that are crossed, um, those little arrows crossed like an X. I just had sold um, that Easter bunny, that pink bunny with the chain that had two little baby bunnies attached, had the same mark, and it was by a company called Kalk, K-A-L-K. -K. I think it was from Germany, I wanna say, originally. And so this, too, has the same mark on the bottom. So I got that. I also got this for a dollar. I don't know why, but I'm just loving picking up these little soapstone uh, trinket dishes. I just think they're so pretty and this one has a swan on. It was $1 and it just looks like that on the inside. It's like I was so upset that first one that I found that it ended up being broken and now I keep finding them that are not broken so I feel like I have to rescue them. I don't know, I'm weird sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, like all the time. All right, the next thing I got was this little guy. I thought he was so cute. Um. Looks like he has, <laughs> guys, I don't know, but this just looks perverted to me. I don't know about you. Maybe it's just me. Um, I don't know what those are supposed to be. I mean, he looks like he might be up to no good. He was 50 cents. <laughs> and um, I feel like it says China on the bottom of him. He's made of a ceramic. I don't know. I thought that. He was cute though, so I grabbed him for 50 cents. I also grabbed this, and you guys might remember seeing me uh, giggle about this little guy in my video. I thought that um, he looked so sad, like he looks P.O.D. about playing his violin. I mean, look at that face. 
I just was laughing hysterically about this. Um, it is marked made in Japan on the bottom and he was 50 cents. So I thought maybe someone else would get a kick out of his, his sad little face. It's like he's playing the world's smallest violin. This thing was beautiful. I absolutely love this piggy bank and I really have to convince myself not to keep this because it's beautiful. This little guy was $1 and even his little nostrils are like blinged out rhinestones. He does have a Japan mark here on his uh, one foot. His stopper is still there. I don't know if he was originally like this or if someone like decoupaged this gorgeous fabric rose print all over him, but I'm so glad that they did because I think it's gorgeous. And I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can list him. I don't know guys, I am in love with this pig. So we'll see, we'll see. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. This was also a really awesome find. I went around his sale once and like as soon as I got in the door, you guys saw, I was picking some stuff up and setting it back down and I even said on camera, if I sit this stuff back down, it's not gonna be there when I go back around again. And sure enough, you know, there was an ashtray I picked up and it was gone when I went back around. Um, so it's like, I tell myself this and I don't even listen to my own advice, but I was kind of overwhelmed as soon as I got there and I saw so many people there and I wanted to, I wanted to get around quick enough to look at everything and grab what I wanted kind of thing and not, you know, peter about and watch everyone else swoop up everything. <laughs> that was really awesome. So, um, I did miss a couple of things in the beginning, but I went around a second time and I was finding stuff that I didn't even notice the first time, like this guy. This was kind of tucked back on a table and I saw it with my eyes, but I didn't pick it up. Like, I just thought it was maybe like, you know, when I see stuff like this, I sometimes just automatically think like, maybe it was something that was at like Hobby Lobby or something like that. Um, but I decided to pick it up and take a closer look and I'm so glad I did. This was $2 if my camera is focusing, but it is shaped like a pirate chest. It opens so awesome. So this little piece here, you just kind of poosh, right out there. And then when you open it, when you open it, when you open it, <laughs> it is a beautiful jewelry box. It looks like a pirate chest. It is lined in this gorgeous red velvet. You can take out this top tray here and then the bottom is also lined in red velvet. Yes, I sniffed it because I sniff everything. There is a sticker on the back that is marked Japan. It says, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this or not. It says Jetline Japan here on this sticker. So I'm assuming this is older. Uh, I don't know. I didn't really like look it up yet. So I don't know for sure. But when I did look up pirate chest jewelry boxes, they seem to be something that sells well. So I, I thought this was a really awesome find and I love how it closes and opens. It's just, it's amazing, $2 for that. Guys, I'm always hesitant about picking up ashtrays and I think that's one of the reasons I put down that ashtray in the beginning of the video is because, you know, I, I've sold some ashtrays but I haven't sold some ashtrays so I'm still trying to figure out which ones um, to really pick up kind of thing. So yeah, I probably should have um, gotten that one that I picked up because like I said, I saw one that sold for $24, but I went ahead and got this set of four for a dollar. And goodness gracious, these are making so much noise. But each one has a card suit on it, like the um, red heart, the red diamonds, and then there's a black spade. And it's the whole set of the cards. So I got those for a dollar, all of them for a dollar. I thought that they'd be, 
you know, maybe someone who plays cards a lot or has people over for cards or poker or something like that might might have an interest in purchasing them. So we'll see. I got this picture building blocks. It forms six different jigsaw puzzles of familiar fairy tales. It was in the box here. This was $2 and here I'll open it up and show you guys what it looks like. So this is, these are the pictures of what the puzzle will look like after you're you've put it together. So it's a little Red Riding Hood theme and this one was Cinderella. And then these are what the blocks look like. So they're kind of like clear and then they have the pictures all around. Whoa, no, it said six, right? No, hold on. Picture building blocks forms. Yeah, it makes six different pictures. So not just those two, uh, but these were only the two um, actual pictures in here. So I think the other one, just looking at the pictures, the one looks like um, Snow White, um, and I'm not sure what the other ones are, but they're all fairy tale related. So I decided to take a chance with that for $2. I got this plate for 50 cents. I thought it was really pretty. I like the print on it, and it is marked Italy on the back. So. I don't know if that's hand painted or not, but for 50 cents, I just thought that was really pretty. Guys, this was also an instance of something I had seen in a picture at the auction and then I didn't go to the auction that day. And well, no one had purchased it and I found it at that ladies yard sale. So this is another instance of it was meant to be kind of thing. So this is what I was interested in. Um, at the auction when I didn't go. It was this basket and it's from Bath & Body Works, spring of 2000 and it's brand new sealed um, of all of the older version of the Plumeria fragrance. So this basket was $2. So I got that. Um, vintage Bath & Body Works sometimes does really, really well on eBay. So I'll probably I'm gonna sell this like all together including the basket because this was the basket you would have purchased at Bath and Body Works it has a little uh, Bath and Body Works tag on the top so that was so awesome I love when stuff like that happens all right I got this little vase and it's marked Mexico so let's see if I can get it to there we go it's a little birdie on there just a little blue vase and this was I don't know if you can see in there, but it was 50 cents. So I got him. I also got this for 50 cents. It is a uh, brass. This is brass, I believe. It's really heavy. It says boss on it and it was 50 cents. And on the back it says paperweights by A&M Leather Lines. So I got that. I got a latch hook kit for 50 cents. Um, I always look up the crafting pieces that I buy before I purchase them because some of them sell and some of them sell really well and some of them really aren't worth picking up in my opinion. So when I looked this one up, it looked like it was selling for about 20 and I paid 50 cents, so got that. I got two mugs at a random yard sale. Uh, they're both Disney. This one is from Disney Parks and it is a red Minnie Mouse. I like the shape of that. It's kind of square and that was one dollar. And then also at the same sale I got this Peter Pan one. And this does have some wear to it. I mean it was obviously used. And this one was also a dollar and that one's just marked Disney made in Japan. So I got those. That one has a pretty blue interior. Guys, vintage Nestle quick tins. I'm not even kidding. Buy them if you see them. Um, most people would probably just pitch these away. Like I, you can imagine how many of these just went in the trash. People thinking, ah, no one's gonna buy those. It's not worth anything. They <laughs> look it up vintage Nestle Quick tins. Um, I paid I think a quarter for this or 50 cents um, 
and yeah, I'll just, just telling you guys, look it up. I got two packs of vintage panties. Again, another kind of randomly weird thing that sells really well. Um, these are by Body Image, and then these ones are by Lady Manhattan. I paid a dollar for each package. This package was open. Um, I think, yeah, I think one of the briefs was taken out, but there's still two remaining, and this one has three pairs. So, yeah, vintage underwear. Buy it. Um, I took these. You guys probably saw me pick these up. I thought these were so cute. I paid 50 cents for them, and these are ceramic um, little stakes that you would use in like your garden to mark, you know, what you planted. But they're all little animals. There's a bird, an owl, um, I think a cat, and I feel like the other one is a squirrel. They're all taped together currently, but I just thought those were so, so cute. So I got those. Um, at that lady's sale, she had this. Um, the basket was marked 50 cents and then for everything inside the basket. So this is like a hanging wicker planter of a little baby uh, bassinet. I didn't necessarily want this. I don't know if it's worth anything or not, but I was interested in the dolls inside because I didn't recognize them. They were a little bit before my time. So if you guys recognize these dolls, let me know. Um, these three, I'm assuming, are all from the same line of dolls. They're marked Mattel uh, 1975 is what they're marked. So it was this, this one, I'm pretty sure this one was also, yeah, Mattel 1975, and then this little girl as well. So I gotta figure out who they are, but 50 cents for the whole shebang. Plus there was this one, and this one actually looks familiar to me. Um, but again, I don't know if she is anything or if she's just like a random doll. You could get it like, a, you know, the supermarket or like a little drugstore or something like that. And then also at her sale for 50 cents, I took these two Lion King ornaments. They're made of this like PVC vinyl material um when you have something like this especially if it's like a little pvc vinyl toy um and you're selling it i'd also suggest to put in cake topper into your title if you're reselling it uh, because people will sometimes buy little things like this to stick on top of a birthday cake that's themed of you know whatever it is you're selling so Someone could stick these on top of a birthday cake as cake toppers and then, you know, the child has a little toy or ornament in this case to reuse after the birthday. So this one was Mufasa and this one is Simba. They were both 50 cents a piece. And you can see this one was originally $7.99. There's a price tag on it. And this one had a $4.99 price tag. I don't know where they originally came from, but... I thought those were really cute and worth 50 cents. I also got another um, chenille blanket. And this one looks like it's in way better condition than the last one I picked up. I did list the last one that I picked up. It doesn't have any bins yet. I'm not looking. I, I don't think it's, it's going to sell for much if it sells at all. I was a little disappointed in that purchase, how that kind of... Uh, panned out but we'll see if it does um I didn't spread this out completely yet but um she said that it was clean that she wouldn't sell anything dirty so I trust her she is a nice lady and I do trust her um I paid five dollars for this I cannot find the tag there was a tag, because I think she had it marked as to what size it was. And I can't find it. Yeah, I, I cannot find the tag anymore. So I'll have to actually either try and find it or, you know, when I lay it out, I'll measure it and find out how, 
how big it is. Another thing that I heard was a bolo but never actually found before and I found three of them at a yard sale. I couldn't believe it. These vintage Oshkosh children's bibs sell really, really, really well, you guys. I'm not into selling children's clothes. I never really got into selling children's clothes. I feel like a lot of it, you know, kids grow up so fast that, you know, I don't think a lot of people put a lot of money into kids clothing, but then there are people that will. So um, definitely if you ever find vintage Oshkosh bibs specifically, um, boy or girl, I would assume. Uh, these ones are all girls. Uh, definitely pick them up. So I found three of them. This first one are these pink ones with blue flowers. They're corduroy and they have a little bow there on the back. So yeah, just go on eBay. Vintage Oshkosh bibs. 25 cents for those. And then I also found these ones. These are also pink, but with like a little bunny rabbit print. So cute. Oh my goodness, they, they are dear, absolutely dear. So I got those for a quarter. And then I also got these for a quarter. I don't know, I'm probably not going to sell the little, I'm not gonna sell the little shirt with these. They, they're pinned to it. Let me take the shirt out. Cause one, the shirt is not Oshkosh. And two, um, it looks like it has a little bit of staining on it. So I'll probably wash it and see if that comes out. And if it doesn't, I'm just gonna throw it away. Otherwise I'll donate it. But these ones are just denim bibs. But with a little pink tag on the bib pocket. So 25 cents a piece for those. Guys, if you ever find vintage Tupperware measuring cups and spoons, I just sold a green set of the cups, the spoons, and like the little hanger that you can hang them on. I got a good, good amount for those. They'll be in an upcoming Chiching video. Um, I don't remember what I spent on them at a yard sale. I'd say a dollar for the whole kit and caboodle. Um, so I did end up finding a set of green spoons and orange spoons. Um, these are older Tupperware. Uh, 25 cents a piece for those. So I'm not sure how much like just the spoons will sell for, um, but I wasn't gonna let them sit for a quarter a pop. I got this self tanning cream by Bain de Solil. Um, it was $1. When I looked this up at the sale, it looked like it was selling for like 12. So not a whole lot, uh, but I don't think there are any currently listed. So that's always sometimes a selling point for me if I don't see one listed, but I saw one sold. Um, I also got this uh, older Powerpuff Girls um, plastic pencil case. This one is from 2000 and it just looks like this when you open it up. It's cleaned out a little bit. So I got that for, I think that was a quarter. I got two books. These were 50 cents a piece. I don't really think these are worth anything, but I wanted to read. I wanted to read this one. Um, it's called The Paranoid 50s. It has three classic science fiction novels in it. So 50 cents for that, that'll be a fun read. And then I just decided to take this one to make it an even dollar. I like the fact that it was still sealed, so I thought maybe I could just sell this one since it's in, you know, new condition, but I don't know if it's worth anything. It's called The Record of the Murilani, book one, The Glorious Path. So I'm assuming it's kind of like a science fiction-y type book, I'm, I'm not sure. But I like, like I said, the fact that it was sealed. I got this for a quarter. I know I've heard that vintage VHS tapes that are horror related sell really well. 
I guess it depends, one, on what movie it is, and two, maybe if you have like a lot of them and not just one. So I found this one, it's called Brain Eaters. It was a quarter, but I don't think it's really worth much, um, you know, by itself. So I may just hang on to it, and then if, you know, later on I find some more vintage um, horror VHS tapes, then I'll lot it together with other ones. I got these shoes at the, at that um, first sale. These were $3 and they even came with a shoe box. I mean, you can get these like little plastic shoe boxes at the Dollar Tree, but you know, will come in handy to store some stuff. Um, I don't really know if these are really worth much. I paid $3 for them. They're by Flexus, by Springstep. Um, they're orthopedic sandals they're in pretty much like new condition um i like picking up orthopedic shoes but i just don't know if this brand is really you know that highly sought after they're so freaking soft though i think they are they're size 38 um i think that's a women's eight um but we'll list them up and see i got this for a quarter i didn't have my phone on me at the sale to look it up um, but it's definitely an older product and when I find older products that are still sealed um, If it's not if it's not much like if I'm not paying much I'll take the gamble because sometimes you know Things can be worth a lot if they stop making them and this is the oust bathroom air sanitizer in the outdoor scent So these were from 2003 I do not think that they make these anymore correct me if I'm wrong so, like I said, I don't know if it's worth much, but for a quarter, um, just decided to take a chance on that. I recently had sold a, I, I marked it as a, an ugly Halloween sweater. You know, we, we've been doing the ugly Christmas sweater. What about the hollow, ugly Halloween sweater? So, I just sold one not that long ago. I don't know if it's made it into a cha-ching yet. But I found this one, so I decided to pick it up. It's just this black, kind of velour feeling cardigan sweater. And it's really not, it's really not ugly. It's actually really cute. Um, but it's definitely older. It's by Richard Sport, size extra large. But it has these super cute wooden buttons on it. So this one's a pumpkin with a ghosty. This one is just a little jack-o'-lantern face. And then this one's also a pumpkin with a ghosty that says trick or treat. So, and then even like along the, uh, the sleeves, they have this like chunky stitch. I don't know. I thought, I thought it was cute and you know, Halloween's coming. So we'll get that listed up. I also got this sweater at a yard sale. This one was, I believe a dollar. And it's just this red knit kind of jacket. It zips up. Very patriotic. It has two front pockets. And the stitched stars. Um, and then the stars down the sleeves. Just a really, really nice. Um, is it a zip? Yeah, it's a zip up. And this is by the Quacker Factory. And it's a size 1X. I have sold other stuff by the Quacker Factory before. So I decided to get that. Plus it's a really good size. So that was a dollar. I got this vintage Bill Blass denim button-up jacket. This is a size large. I don't think these are really worth much. I wish that this was like all patched up in some like 80s patches and stuff like that. I should actually just hold on to this and like try to look for old buttons and pins and patches from like the 80s or 90s and like deck this baby out and then try and sell it for a decent amount because as is um, you know plain I don't think it's really worth much that is gonna be my next project guys project time for that so I gotta keep my eye out on some pins and patches while I'm out and about 
And then I got this sweater for myself, as long as it fits all right. Um, this is just by Cynthia Rowley. I liked the color of this, and it has just this cute little peekaboo um, lace bottom there. And then the back looks like this. So this was 50 cents. So if that fits okay, then I'm keeping that. But if not, then it'll go on eBay. Uh, but that is everything for this haul. I feel like this haul was really, really big. Um, I got so much stuff and you guys, like I am a one man, well, one woman band here. Uh, Eric, like, he'll help me list occasionally, but for the most part, I am the one going to yard sales, I'm the one taking the pictures, I'm the one editing the videos, I'm the one listing, I'm the one packing, you know what I mean? I mean, he helps when he can, but for the most part, I do all of this stuff myself. I don't have um, help. So when you see me haul something and maybe you don't see the stuff for a while, I apologize for that if you are like looking for something that I have and you're really interested in. The only thing I can say is to just follow my eBay store and you know just watch for it if it pops if it pops up. I, I try my best to get stuff up but it's it's hard. It is really hard. Um, so I do, I do it as, as I can and as I find time, but, oh, I missed something. I got this for a quarter. You guys, I'm a child. Uh, I found this Mensel's Gourmet Scented Pencil at a yard sale for 25 cents. It's in the fragrance Very Berry. It's brand new. Oh, and it smells so good. It smells just like berries. That, this got me excited very excited for a quarter. Uh, but anyway, that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have to let me know what you thought down below. If there's anything you see that you are interested in and want me to um, post up on eBay, let me know and I'll try to make those things more of a priority um, if, I, if I can. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.